Hello everyone, it's Cherie. Welcome to my channel. I am going to be showing you some um, vintage fall journals that I am going to, um, that I have for sale. And they're not going to go in my Etsy shop. I'm going to do something, I'm going to try it out, I'll do something a little different. Um, if you would like to purchase these, you need to um, message me on my Etsy, which I will leave a link for that below. And, um, and then send me your email and I will give you a invoice through PayPal that you can pay. Um, I'm just going to try it out that way just because Etsy's, um, fees are, um, kind of high. So I'm going to, I'm going to give this a go and see how that works. So if you're interested, send me a message on Etsy with your email. So I have two journals, two fall journals that I made. They are um, wrap-around journals, or trifold, whatever you want to call them, and they're made from a vintage um, curtain. I found this lovely vintage curtain at a, um, an antique mall, and, um, and I, just, I just fell in love with it and thought that it would make a perfect um, journal. So, like I said, they're trifold, and they are made from, um, the base is actually some wallpaper, and they have, um, three, I believe it's three layers, I think I did three layers, because there's the, um, the wallpaper, and then there's fabric, there's like three layers of fabric, actually, and they're really squishy and just feel, they're just really nice. I, I feel like they turned out really good. So, um, also each journal is going to come with a pack of ephemera pieces and a pack of fall themed stickers. And <clears throat> excuse me. They're going to be um, 55 free shipping for the United States. And if you're interested and you're international, I can give you a shipping quote. Um... So I'm going to go ahead and hop right in. I made two and then I also made a third one for my giveaway, which is here. And I will do a separate video for this. And um, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe so you can enter to win the, um, the journal giveaway. So I'm going to go ahead and hop in. Um, they are, oops, sorry, they're really close in size. Um, it's about eight inches. This one I think is just a tad bit shorter. And then they're about, um, six inches width-wise. So they're very similar and, um, each has a hint of a theme to them. Um, this one has a hint of a bird theme. This one has a hint of a deer theme, and then the giveaway has a hint of a squirrel theme. They each have one, two, three, four, five signatures, and each signature has about seven to nine pages, so you would double that. Um, and I used a lot of um, scrapbooking papers, designer paper, like designer scrapbooking papers. And they're fall themed, but they're not like super fall all throughout the journal. So I'm going to flip through these and then I'll flip through um, the packs that, that come with it. So this one, it has some vintage fabric on the inside cover. It's got this little pocket here made from a, um, an embroidered linen. And um, it's got a lot of stitching. And I am not the... I'm not like an expert, you know, um, with my sewing machine. I'm still kind of working it out. So it's kind of got like that shabby, um, look to it. So in the front here, we have a little, um, postcard pocket with some ribbon and a little bird, vintage bird playing card. These were really fun to make. This is a... <clears throat> A linen um, I can't remember the name of the shop it might be Willow Bound Journals 
or um, reminiscing strangers, I think. This is <clears throat> some ledger paper. Excuse me. Some ledger paper. I'm doing this really early in the morning because the house is still asleep. And I'm hoping I can get the video done before anybody in the house wakes up. Um, this is some Tim Holtz paper here. And I make my journal. I made these just like I would for myself. Like when I make journals for myself, I keep them very plain because I like to decorate it and chunk it up um, while I'm working in it. This is just like a little vintage card. I liked the colors um, on it and thought that it went really nice. Some um, stenciling. Um, I think this is Maggie Holmes paper if I'm not mistaken, but I could be. Um, I think this is Stampin' Up maybe? I'm not sure. So yeah, so lots of scrapbooking papers. This is some fabric washi ribbon with some stitching along the side. Can hear my chickens out there squawking. I haven't fed them yet this morning, so they're probably like, Where is my breakfast? That Tim Holtz paper, some ledger paper. This is a printable from my shop in one of my kits. Um, you'll also get a, a kit when you purchase this. You can pick out a kit, and when you message me your email, just tell me which kit you want, and I will email it to you. scrapbooking paper so like I said they're not um, super decorative and that's one of the reasons why I went ahead and made a, um, a packet of ephemera for you to use to decorate your journals with and a bunch of stickers too some vellum here some more vintage ledger this is an envelope here Another pocket. I'm pretty sure this one is um, Little Bendy on um, Etsy, Johanna. This is the pocket here. This is another Tim Holtz paper. Some more stenciling. There's some stamping here at the bottom. A little washi. With some stitching. So I did stitch a lot. Um, and these, this is like an old, um, it's very thin, um, railroad paper. I like these thin papers because you can really add a lot of stuff on them if you're, when you're using it to chunk it up, collage on it. This is a vintage kitchen label and a vintage recipe card. I think this paper's Kaiser Craft. It's really pretty. I love it. It's one of my favorites. Um... This is one of my linens from my shop that I stuck in here. Some more um, stitching all the way around. And I used a bunch of different stitches. I didn't just stick with one. I kind of was just having fun and going for it. Um, a stamped mushroom there. It's cute. I like it. A little scrap of ledger there. Uh, Edith Holden page that's got a bird on it. And then that's a little pocket there. So you really have the freedom um, to do whatever you want. And they're, like I said, they're, they're soft covers. So they'll chunk up really good. A little paper punch on this vellum here. This is a wallpaper pocket from um, Tim Holtz Wallpaper Pack. And um, another linen here, linen pocket. I think this one's Johannes too. Some more scrapbooking paper. This is a fabric pocket. And it's got some photo corners in it. Some sticker photo corners. A little stamping with a little bird there on the label. And then it folds open like this. Um, another little there with a bird on it. Um, some more stamping. I love that stamp. This I think is Kaiser Craft paper. There's another little pocket there. 
of a vintage um, pen card of a bird. Um, this is one of my linens with some lower um, photo corners on some vintage ledger. This is a book page from a um, childcraft book. I, I wish I could remember the year, but I know it's really old. It's like 40s, maybe 50s or 60s. Another little stamp there. Here's a little belly band pocket, some ribbon. Um, this is an old antique letter. It's from like 1900. I like having them in my journals. They just add a fun look. And this is some sassafras paper. Um, this company is no longer um, up and running. They're out of business. But their papers, they're really fun. And I liked this bottom strip here, so I just left it. But if you wanted to cut it, you could totally cut it off. Here's the other side of that um, antique butter there. And here's a picture of a little girl. Stamped little girl holding a chick. It's really cute. The other side of that child craft book. And the other ledger. So there's lots of flip, up, flip out. And, um, yeah, really fun, easy, um, journal. So you can just have free reign to do whatever you want with it. And then this is just, um, I don't think it's seam binding. I can't remember what it's called. But, um, if you're, if you don't like this, you can always just cut it and put something else in there. So that's the first one. And then the second one is, um, has a hint of a deer thing to it. So it also has, um, five signatures. And then this is a piece of, like, vintage, um, upholstery here. It's really pretty. And then that same vintage fabric, which I really loved a lot. I just fell in love with it when I saw it. Kind of reminds me almost of, like, um... Like it's something that you would see in the kitchen, you know? Okay. So I think this is graphic 45, but I'm not 100% sure. There's some little pumpkin stamped on the bottom. And a little flip out there. This is some old, um, I think it's like from 1910 or something like that. Vintage, um ledger paper. This is a basic gray paper. I love that paper. Some stamping with some stitching around. A piece of railroad paper. Some photo corners with a pocket there. And some ledger paper that folds out. Some more stenciling. These were a lot of fun to me. Like, I'm having so much fun. Okay, 1914. And then this is November. Um, making these trifold journals. These fabric trifold journals. Um, some more stitching all along the edge here. It's a little wonky, but it works. I like it. I like the way it looks. Um, some vellum there, and then there's a stamp of a little girl here, there's a little label stamp up there, Some more stitching, this is Stampin' Up, this is a little pocket here, and it's just got a couple of um, Project Life cards in there to journal on, some journaling cards, let me see if I can't get my, there we go. Everyday count and remember, so just some extra little journaling cards there. Um, some tea dye paper, some stitching, some more ledger, some Edith Holden paper. I don't, I think this is K and Co, but I'm not 100% sure. But I love this paper, I just think it's so pretty. Ledger paper, some more tea dyed paper, a little 
vintage playing card there, a little girl holding her dolly. Isn't that sweet? Um, and this one I'm pretty sure is Reminiscing Strangers. And um, I will, I, I think that's what it is. And if I can remember, I'll link the shops below. And some more pumpkin there with some stitching here. A little fabric pocket here. It's got some photo corners and a Project Life card. I think this paper is Glitz Design Paper. It's so pretty. Isn't that gorgeous? Love it. And some more stamping there. This is a page from one of Johanna's designs on Etsy. Some stenciling. This is like a little window pocket. This is a 1905 um, antique letter, typed letter. Some more paper. I think this may be Kaiser Craft as well. And this one's out here. It says, Ble blessings. I like, count your blessings. Um, this is a full pocket up here size pocket. I can get my fingers in there. So, there's that. It's got some little deers on it. This is the other side of Little Bendy's um, paper. Some stitching. My machine um, got it there. But I like it. I like the way that it, the... I don't like things to be too perfect because that's just not how my life is, you know? Things are a bit messy and sometimes chaotic and fun and a little wonky. And that's just the way that I like it. Um, some tea dye paper here, the other side of that Glitz Papers design. Um, this one is from Willowbound Journals. She's got some really lovely linens in her shop. Um, some more paper. I think this is my mind's eye, if I'm not mistaken. Or, I think so, yeah. Another grab, um, I grab a basic gray. Some more of that. This is another um, antique ledger paper, as well as this one here. Some more stitching. Some more stenciling. This is some Tim Holtz paper that opens up. So yeah, very um, open to do whatever you want to do with them. To add your photos, or there's just a lot of room. Just a whole lot of room in these. This is another printable from my shop. I like the um, the food theme stuff because of all you think about Thanksgiving. So um, this is a linen from my shop that I just clipped in here for you to use wherever you want. This, I believe, is Kaiser Craft paper as well. And there's a little mushroom there. This is the belly band for here and here. Um, just a piece of vintage um, fabric stitch on the side there. This is a page from the children's child craft books. It's really cute, too. This is Graphic 45 paper. It's one of my favorite papers. I actually recently got it, but... And this, I think, is close to my heart. This is another piece of vintage ledger. This opens up like so. And it's Brotherhood of Railroad Train Men, 1930. So that one's fun. And the other side of that child craft book, which is really sweet. Side. And this one folds out with some stenciling. And um, the vintage kitchen label and recipe card. And that's it for that. And then I will run through one of these packs um, really quick for you. So each pack comes with 
um, like vintage pieces to use and some stickers. And Like I said, I've got a lot of, um, in, in my past videos, I've got a lot of stickers that I'm probably never going to use, so I figured I would give some away with these journals. So there's like a little tag, and the packs are very similar. Um, some envelope seals, some little scarecrows, some names, some Jolie's Halloween, some Jolie's turkeys, um, some word stickers, a soft spoken, and a set of alphabets. So yes, if you're in the United States, it's 55 plus shipping. If you're international, it's 55, and then I will give you a shipping quote. Okay, so in each of these they're, like I said, they're both very, very similar. They're not exactly alike, but they're very similar. And they have um, the same pieces, amount of pieces, I believe. So, um, so we've got a little fox. You get a clip. This one has a fox. Let's see. This one, there's a, um, a leaf in this one. And, um, Alright, so we've got some vintage buttons here. We've got some wood, wood veneer pieces. And we've got some vintage playing cards here. Oh, some cute little dogs. The Joy. I just picked ones that I thought the colors went with. Um, you know, the fall colors. This sets fall on it. And it's really pretty um, floral wear. This is just like a um, from like a Project Life kit here. Um, these are just some cut apart die cuts. This is a vintage sticker. This is an advertisement from a vintage catalog page. This is like one of those old rotary cards. Um, a ticket. And a little um, daily bread scripture card there. And then there's some um, trim. And then this is like some novelty, vintage novelty ribbon. I love using these in my journals. They're so much fun. Because you can just line your pages or line anything. And they glue and stick really well. Because they're nice and flat, you know. But it gives, your, gives a textured feel on your pages. Um, just a little piece from a kid's dictionary, some vintage, um, lace there, another button, a vintage recipe card, some Project Life cards that I like the colors, I thought they went well. This is the other one here, um, a vintage, make sure I'm in play here. Vintage um, recipe from like a newspaper that somebody taped on here, and the tape's gone all aged, which I love. Love that look. Um, this is another vintage Air Antique 1893 um, receipt. A children's book page. Just a little piece of vintage fabric that I thought might be fun to use in a journal. This is an old um, envelope, and it is stuck together, so you'll have to trim it. If you want, I mean, you could try to peel it up, but you'd have to trim it at the top. And then just a few um, recipe pages from old recipe books, too, that I thought would be fun. A little brown paper bag, a piece of ledger, some more recipe pages. Some little vintage stationery, another vintage um, receipt, one of these um, 
you know, I can't remember what they're called, but you know what this is. Some old um, train tickets, piece of vintage wrapping paper, um, another little scrap there, and another old antique letter. This is from 1905. Some more vintage stationery. And then I have these, I think they're supposed to be like um, vocabulary cards, like you could write on it or um, something like that. They're from, let me see, come on focus, 1958, I guess. Um, and whenever I think of Chris or Christmas, well Christmas too, but um, Thanksgiving in the fall, I always think of Charlie Brown. And a page from... A vintage catalog, some more vintage stationery, a page from a, a garden book that feels really nice and the color is a lot of fun too. And the illustrations are awesome as well. And then a vintage postalette. I think the bird one has a, um, it has a bird on it. And just some um, fun little stamps from that have been torn off of envelopes that I thought would be fun to use as well. So that's it. Um, I hope that you all enjoyed this video. And like I said, just message me on Etsy. I will leave the link to my Etsy shop in the description below. Let me know that you'd like to purchase the journal. Send me your email and let me know which kit in my shop you would like as well. So you get a journal, um, a package of stickers, a package of ephemera, and a kit from my shop. Alright, I hope y'all have a blessed day and I'm going to be doing the video for the giveaway very soon. So we'll talk to you later. Bye.